How's it guys? Welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time it's you are here, welcome to my channel. This is the first time I'm recording something on Gran Turismo 7. I've played this game a few, I've been playing it for about two weeks or so. Um, so I'm going to be doing the cafe, the menu book 36. And it is the World Touring Car Championships. I'm doing it with the Scarocco because I don't have any other grade 4 car yet. I don't actually know how many menu books there are in this game. But yeah, we'll see I've unlocked, unlocked most of the tracks already. So the first one is at Trail Mountain, the second one is at uh, in Barcelona. And then the last one of the championship will be at Nuremberg. 24 hour check. So let's get into this and see if I can get anywhere. I have to get from third place and above in the championship. So yeah, this should be quite interesting. I'll see if I can if I can get up there, maybe in one. Four, PlayStation 4 Pro. So the loading does take a little bit of a while. But it's not too bad. A bit of a normal PlayStation 4 it takes quite long. Okay, so let's start this and let's let's see what happens. Always you start right at the back. I'm also on controller guys, I'm not racing with the steering wheel or anything like that. I'm on controller and also racing. I struggle a bit with the manual gears. Yeah, this tech track is quite technical. Ooh, bit wide there. Now lose the position. Oh, excuse me against the wall. That wasn't a very cool move. This um, AI is. But, uh, the AIs have changed from previous Gran Turismo. These guys, they bump you off. They, uh, they block the road, they don't move out the way for you and stuff like that. So it actually makes it more interesting. Not just like before. Where they just gave you away and gave you space and stuff like that. So it's more Virginian uh, racing experience, which is quite cool. You see that we're 20, 39, 29 seconds behind the leader. No. Oh. And we're all in group four cars. You know that you can obviously bolt your car up. But it can't be more than a PP of 700. So basically all I've done to this Scarocco is put racing soft tires on. And it took the PP up to 672. There are a lot of cars that are faster than the Scarocco, but the Scarocco is very fast in, in the corners. Sorry, I almost hit that guy. Turn, turn, turn. There we go. Up to 12 now. Trying to get this viper now. Okay, 
I bought some other guys at the the Peugeot. He's actually one of the most stable cars in the game at the moment. Now I went with the VW team, but the the Group Three, the Beetle, is not so stable. It used to be stable in, in Gran Turismo Sport. I was with him in Gran Turismo Sport, so I thought it would be good again, but it didn't turn out that way. The, like I said, it's very unstable. Cost like. It actually feels like you're driving a rear-wheel drive car when you're driving that car. See so yeah, when next season, when the full season comes, I probably won't go with uh, VW again. I might actually look at the Peugeot or maybe Hyundai. I heard Hyundai is also quite good and obviously the Mazda's the attends is also, also very good. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'll just have to buy one of those cars to test them out. But out of the Group 4 cars, this Grocco, very good, it handles very nicely, very stable car. BMW braking very strangely. Hey, this guy's braking very strangely. I don't know. Let's pass him. Let's get a bit of a slipstream going there. The Suzuki Swift, okay. I never knew they had cars in grade 4. They obviously they know they have a car in grade 3 as well. I'm we'll actually have to give that car a try as well. <laughs> See how it feels. It looks like a little dinky toy compared to the other cars. Okay, so I'm up to 6. This is lap number 3. From 29 seconds behind, I've gone to 6, 7 seconds behind now. Not too bad. Just hope I can get up there. Oh, that's a nice overtake. There's a Tenza in front of me, Mazda Tenza. These guys break quite funny. I tried to give clear routine races, but it's not always possible. <laughs> I'm also not the best of drivers, but I try to avoid it wherever I can. This page has three guys up ahead. That's the top three. Oh, I was pushed out wide there. I had to break. Normally you don't have to break for that corner. Oh, sorry, Lamborghini. That is an accident. I 
Oh, break the light. Oh, no. In the wall. Damn it. Get my fourth position back. And this will be the final lap. So hopefully I can catch those guys. I need to get up as high as possible. The Scarocco probably not the fastest group 4 car. Or the best group 4 car. But it is quite quick. Like I said, it's very stable as well. So it takes those corners very nicely. Oh, nice one. Caught up nicely there. Oh, I feel like getting one inside and then he goes around. Oh, they are past him. That's just quite a risky move. Also in Gran Turismo Sport, the licenses were very easy. I think on 80% or 90% of them I got gold on the first try. Ooh, I'm gonna pass both. Got a nice slip stream there. Like we're saying, on this one, on Gran Turismo 7, it's more like the licenses on Gran Turismo 5 and 4. Much more difficult. Much more difficult to get in. But yeah, I've already got up to my international license, eh? I'm busy with this special license. I've only actually got one test left. On the special license, I only got the one test left. But it's quite hard that one, uh, you have to ra race in the fr on the front hook, uh, I'm not exactly sure what the name is, the, the track in France, it's quite a long track, and a very fast car, and the road is wet, and they don't give you the option to put racing wet tyres on, you have to actually have to race with, with racing hard tyres, so it's very difficult, if you hit any little small puddle then you go spinning out. I'm struggling over to that one, but I'm sure I will get it. Okay, that's the first race finished. We have finished in first place. It should be my 12 points. And 50,000 credits. Okay. Okay, it didn't give me a clean race because I think because I bumped that Lamborghini. If you get a clean race, they give you a 50% bonus. So we would have got 75,000 credits there. Now for Barcelona. Let's see how it goes there. Catalonia, that's the name of the course, and like I said, it's in Barcelona. Some of these menus are quite a little bit more difficult than the rest. They don't tell you before and if the track is wet or not, and then you end up racing with with race or racing soft tires or something like that, and then you end up sliding all around the place. And it also changes as well. They don't, they're not always the same track as at all. Or raining or something like that. So basically as soon as you go in you can see the sky if it looks like clouds or not and you should, should change your tires beforehand. Okay, Barcelona, let's go.
Oh. If you go off here, you're stuck in the sand. You can forget about it, come back. You're gonna lose a lot of time. It's Alexis. Just passed. Ooh! In Grand Tourism Sport, that didn't actually happen. Feed the curb like it, only maybe in the group 3 cars. But not even in the group 4 cars. This is a, this game is much more realistic than Gran Turismo Sport. Push the way saving from sale for me. And you got the Mustang driver here. I'm gonna beat him up in the straight line. And then now it's the Viper. But just before the Oh I broke break a little bit too early there. Those boards are very hard to see, they're, they're a little bit small. So actually try to see if there's another kind of a marker that I can see there to break. See the Viper very slow around corners. Because it is a real world drive car I suppose. So it loses traction very easily. So they have to go around the corner slowly. I missed the breaking point there, but I still made the corner. And only if you take that corner in third gear, it's fine. But now I don't want to bump these guys. So then beginning again. Bit of a cheeky move there up the inside. Man, that's the mod. Oh, that thing sounds like a monster. That S the mod and sounds like a beast. What is this in front of us? It looks like a Toyota. It's 99th place. Only two laps left. If you eat those little marbles and outside the car also slides a bit. So I'll take my finger off the accelerator. When I get there. Run it. There's a whole bunch of cars here. Four cars here now in front of me. And there's a Suzuki again in front of me. Can't be too slow because it's... It is a Group 3 car. I never can't remember seeing Suzuki before in the... In the groups. Oh, shucks, I missed my upgrade. Yo, that was bad. That is a bad one, yo. Sorry guys. I was kind of talking, you know. 
forgot <laughs> I'm supposed to be breaking. So we've got the BMW driver up in front of us. And you'll see all these guys that are racing against you. It's not like just AI made up names. These are actually guys that are champions in Gran Turismo. So when you're racing this, you're actually feeling like you're racing against champions, which is quite cool. <laughs> If you ever look at the names you might notice, you might uh, recognize some of them. Over to take on inside. I gave him space, sir. I'm now in third place. And I'll ride over the curb again. Just watch out, I might just spin the car out there or something. I'm just scared of that. If you are new guys, please subscribe to my channel. It's gonna help me a lot. I'm still a very, very small channel. So I need all the help I can get. It will be very appreciated. And just drop a like as well, please. If you do like it. Then I know if I can post more of this videos, this kind of videos, whatever. Let's see if we can catch these two guys in front without bumping anyone off. I'm actually very impressed with this Scirocco. It's not, like I said, it's not the best, not the fastest car, but the handling is superb. Those two guys in front looks like they Again, oh my word, it's terrible. They lose a position and it resets me. Ah, oh, these two positions. On the final lap, not good. It's a little bit of orgy bargy there. Looks like I'm not going to catch, because I went off, I actually might not catch up to them now. Now I'm 8 seconds behind. That is a bad mistake. What happens when you're not paying 100% attention to what you're doing. Oh, that car went very wide there. German. Yeah, the fourth place here. I could have got at least third, because I was in third position when I went off there. But yeah, this is not going to go down to the last race. Hopefully I can stay in the top three to win the car. And obviously to, to progress to the next menu book which will be 37 okay so now with the seven points second place not too bad 19,000 big difference
Yeah, my daily workout is finished. Okay, let's go to the next race. Someone 19 points in second place, but the guy in third place is only one point behind me. Nuremberg. Probably the most difficult track. They don't call it the green hole for nothing. <coughs> so I probably, to be in the top three, I'm in the championship. I'm probably gonna have to finish in the top top three, yeah, to to get it. Maybe in top two, but I'm gonna go obviously go for the win. So your first, the first section of this track is obviously the GP track and then it turns into the, you turn into the, the Nuremberg track, you know, the long track. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Just to start from the back, the whole time. It's also a little bit unfair that you go according to your points, maybe, or maybe even do like a qualifying race or something. I know it will that might make the game longer, but. Come on, die. Oh, he went very wide, he actually went off the track there and I gave him a lot of space. Oh, come on dude, it's going slow. Chevrolet. No, don't only break for this corner guys, I just have to break for this guy in front of me. He was off the racing line and then he turned into the racing line and I was on the racing wall while I was going on the inside. That Ferrari driver. I actually like Ferraris and Hondas. I actually drive Honda. So this guy is dancing all over the place. And here's where the normal Nuremberg track starts. This is where the fun starts. Like I said, the fun starts. Ah. Damn it. Come on, Porsche. This track is so narrow, he will struggle to overtake the guys. Like they had him. And then I actually went up driving on the, on the grass. America, America, please be nice. And he was nice. Normally that guy, Driving the Mustang is all over the place. Then, obviously, Grand Turismo Sport, another Grand Turismo, 
especially like going through Smith 5, we used to do this check on the license. Which, <laughs> not very easy. Really, dude? When I said America, please be nice, I actually meant the car from America. Now I've got another car from America, give me problems. Holding me up, blocking me off. Look how fat. This car's really got a fat ass, and then he bumps me off. And then I bump him off. The car is so wide at the back, it actually uh, takes up most of the track. The next guy is five seconds ahead of us, well, they don't make it easy. Full out through, our, through that, that corner. And my golfy Panel beaters are gonna make some. No, lost some more time there. I'm not trying to go fast, but end up losing time like that. Oh, I just saw the car. But I'm only in the 11th place. Half the track left. A bit more than half, I think. Oh, nice. See, luckily there's no tire wear and stuff like that because I'm racing on a racing sp uh, sp soft tires and I think Nuremberg will, will finish your tires just more than a half a lap Oh, there's a whole horde of cars in front of me and all over the house I'm supposed to get through this No, Lamborghini, why are you closing off now? That was spiteful. And now this time it's a, a driver from America. God, thank you. Hope you enjoyed that one. Ah, he still passed me, damn it. Now he's going to close me off again. The little Suzuki is in 7th place. Ah, damn it. Oh, this is tough race. Right? So many cars so close to each other like this. Oh, what the hell? That guy just turned like that. They made me here. Uh, Oh my word. He just turned like this behind the guy and just turns like this. Now I lost like how many positions there? And I, is there something wrong with my car? Because it's just bouncing all over the place now. Oh my word. Green from my cake. Terrible. Now I might actually be out of the championship now. Coming close to the straight here. Yeah? 
to actually turn the music off in this because you can't hear the car so nicely with the music music on. Here's the straight now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch some of them. Let's see. I'm going to have to pass a whole lot of them. But now they're all standing next to each other on the track. Start to take the needle there. Yeesh! Yeah! From 11th to 5th place. 4th place. Little golf is traveling. I don't know if this is going to be good enough to get into the top three of the championship. I'll finish in fourth. You know, for a while I was worried I was right down in 11th place in the last state. Let's see, let's see, please, 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 please. Please, please, please. Fourth place there. Okay, I know that. Where am I going to finish? Second. <laughs> I'm lucky there. Very lucky there. Nineteen thousand. That's for the race. And sixty all second place. Nice guys. So I'm gonna get a car now, I think. Okay. To which one now? Left, right, center. Which one? Left, right or center? Asking my wife, maybe she can give me some luck here. Left, right or center? Center. Center. Ah, the one on the, left, the right is the best, but... <laughs> it's fine, it's a Ferrari, guys. I got a Ferrari, I got a Ferrari, my very first Ferrari. Ferraris are just beautiful. Guys, that's that. I'm gonna be excited. It's gonna give me a new challenge. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you watched so far, I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to drop me a like, and if you are new, subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I would like to bring you some more of these videos, more of Gran Turismo. First, this is the first Gran Turismo 7 that I'm bringing you. So yeah, we'll see how it goes, and I'll bring you some more in the future. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye for now.